A busy and somewhat emotional day at City Hall. Dozens of City Council candidates re-registering for the 25 ward election after a confusing and chaotic few months. Now some incumbents are battling it out for the seat, while some fresh new faces have dropped out of the race entirely. I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm exhausted emotionally, physically, politically. The race has been long, grueling, and is now over before it even really started for former candidate Jennifer Hollett. She left a job at Twitter to run in this election and today announced she's dropping out. It's obviously quite disappointing. Claiming the premier is pitting progressive candidates to run against each other, she says she refuses to be a part of it and will support incumbent candidates instead. And these are people I respect who do great work, so I'm not looking to challenge them. Doug Ford is looking to divide us, and that's why progressives have come together and we're supporting each other. And I think it is a, frankly, it's a travesty that these effective young new voices have been shut out because of Doug Ford. Joe Cressy, one of the dozens of candidates who re-registered this morning for the 25 ward election. It's a range of emotions because a lot of really good people, a lot of people who I'd hoped to serve with alongside on council, have been shut out by this action. I think we're losing some good candidates. I think it's also turning people off politics in general. Joe Cressy and Mike Layton are a few of the lucky ones not running against any other incumbents in Spadina, Fort York or University Rosedale. Same with Gord Perks after Councillor Sarah Doucette announced she won't be seeking re-election and instead will be backing perks. This is the, the end of a long and awful road. Good morning, I'm going to try again. Not the case for longtime councillors Paula Fletcher and Mary Fragidakos, who will now face a fierce battle in Toronto Danforth, which has nearly doubled in size. I'm friends with Paula, we've worked together for eight years. Um, you know, I, I'm just going to follow the great words of Oprah Winfrey. I'm going to race my own race. We're pretty good friends. We've done a lot together, so it's hard for both of us. Um, we'll stay on the high road. We'll stay friends, and an election is the voters are going to decide who wins that election. Other longtime councillors facing off, including Josh Matlow and Joe Mahevic in Toronto St. Paul, Giorgio Mamaliti and Anthony Peruza in Humber River Black Creek, and Jim Karagiannis and Norm Kelly in Scarborough Agent Court, to name a few. We've had to scramble to readapt to the new environment. But it will be even more of a scramble for candidates now facing one, even two incumbents in their ward. Working basically overtime, trying to double down, uh, cover the ground and uh, keep up our exposure so that we can be competitive. Some new faces pointing out having incumbents face off will be good for the city. It shouldn't be about getting your friends in council. It should be about serving the ward. It should be about serving Torontonians. That's what it's truly about. More than 500 candidates were registered in the 47 ward ele election and as of this afternoon, nearly 350 candidates for councillors and school boards had signed up for this election.